I describe it to the people around me like I was walking underwater and everyone else was walking on land. I was 22 years old when I was diagnosed with ADHD. Uh, I was professionally diagnosed at the age of 12. Um, I was schooling at the time and one of my teachers told my mom maybe go get him checked because she she saw the symptoms and then she decided you know to tell my mom and I'm glad that that happened. I was 27 uh, which was quite recently but I was suspected quite early on. Um, biggest challenge would be completing that task right um, you would set your mind to it you wake up in the morning and you think okay I need to go do this it doesn't happen kind of the symptoms made sense, but I didn't know that it was ADHD until I was diagnosed with ADHD. Even though I was suspected quite early on, it was dismissed at several points in my life. It confused me because I knew I was just as smart as everyone around me, but, I, but there was just something off. And especially within our culture where quite a lot of people's self-worth was identified as you know how well you're functioning in school. Who doesn't want to function well in school? Studying, because I used to have a lot of friends who used to study for longer hours, one and a half hours or two hours at a stretch. And I always used to find myself zoning out or not being able to concentrate for a longer period of time. I got bullied in school for having ADHD. Um, we also are very aggressive. Uh, we have anger issues. When I was doing A-level classes, I used to teach my peers on how to do the math sums and how to get the solutions right and I used to beat them and get them right and then when we go for the exam I come back with uh, fails and they have A's on things that I have taught them and which is crazy because that's how we are good at uh, doing things sometimes without pressure but when you come into like an exam hall everything just goes blank. Yes I struggled to keep focus uh, but I could always pick up enough to string things through. That affected me and my self-esteem to the point where I gave up on a lot of things in life because of it. Because you really have low self-esteem, you start question, I have this even now, I start question myself like, you know, are you good enough to be even part of society? Being able to finally research on it on my own, find people who had it, uh, was great because then you don't feel alone. You have that sense of, you know, you belong and people understand. It was just, it was tough. And I kind of realized that it was tough after I got help because life would have been so much easier if I got help earlier. After I got help, I was able to c completely turn around my studies. I started getting good results. I completed my degree with a class and that was my biggest achievement and I'm really proud that I got help. A family friend of ours said that I might have ADHD and to get me checked and I was taken to a psychologist and she very like casually dismissed and said, oh no, you're sitting still, uh, you don't have ADHD. And there was no, in hindsight, um, there was no psychometric testing done or any assessments, but just a casual conversation. I would say don't be afraid or ashamed to get help because I feel like our society kind of condemns the fact that we are getting help for mental issues. What my doctor told me was to take breaks whenever I felt like I was tired or I felt like I couldn't concentrate. So my mood changed a lot because if I tried really, really hard to concentrate for long periods of hours, after a few study sessions, I would feel very drained. We tend to shift interest very soon, um, and that's completely fine. Just uh, r remind yourself that that's a problem. And we also are very impulsive, so keep an eye on your wallets and your bank account balance, because that's very important. Um, I struggle with that every day. There's no shame in having ADHD or any other mental disorder. So instead of Looking at ourselves as people who have a disorder or something quote unquote wrong with us, um, it helps to focus on our strengths. Along with certain types of mental health um, issues, you develop certain things to, you know, resilience, tolerance, empathy, the ability to be able to think on the spot. 
I would say pay attention to the little details of your kids and be kind. I think parents should be informed and brought awareness about these situations and I think that it should be normalized talking about things like this because I feel like most of the influencers now, nowadays as well they mainly focus on brands about promoting brands but they are not talking about things that actually matter.